I, I, I just need to feel from the place something I like. Don't touch it again. People like you are going to dirty it. The caliber of people that walk into this place to buy stuffs, they are not on the same level with you. What are you even doing here? You can't even afford to buy that clothes. I mean, look at you. Look, I don't want you to touch any other thing here. If you see anything you like, call my attention to it, okay? Excuse me. Hi, excuse me. Are you dumb? Of course I can hear you. I just don't want to answer you. Or do you think I'm being employed here to answer to lesser people than me? Sorry, I don't understand. You don't understand? Can you look at yourself from head to toe? I, I just did. You just did? Do you think you're up to the people that come into this store to shop? Or do you even think you can afford anything here? What do you want? I, I just came to see the clothes that are available for sale. Then go ahead and say them. Why do you have to talk to me? I'm sorry. And make sure not to put that on any of those clothes. exactly do you want? Don't you have a choice? Hey, hey, hey! Hold it there! trying to do? I'm just trying to feel the fabric. No, you can't do that. Don't you know because you've touched this fabric, we will have to dry clean it again? I, I, I just need to feel the fabric if it's something I like. Don't touch it again. People like you are going to dirty it. The caliber of people that walk into this place to buy stuffs, they are not on the same level with you. What are you even doing here? You can't even afford to buy that clothes. I mean, look at you. I'm sorry. Look, I don't want you to touch any other thing here. If you see anything you like, call my attention to it, okay? Okay. These poor people, they don't always know what to do. Excuse me. I I think I like this one. You like this one? Yes. <laughs> huh. You know, when you came in and you started by going through the stuffs that were there, I thought you could afford them. But you went all the way from level one to level ten. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. You like that? Okay. So, what's next? What next? 
I'm the one that is supposed to ask you that. Now that you've picked something that you like, what next? So I, I was hoping I could try it on and see if it fits. <laughs> but I, I think when customers come to buy clothes like this, they try them on. Obviously, but not people like you. And besides, you're not a customer. You obviously can't pay for this. Do you even know what a customer means? Someone who comes in here to purchase our most expensive wares. But I've never seen you before and you've never bought anything from here. So why are you calling yourself a customer? Well, you're right, but I don't wear stuff like this. Oh, so why are you here? And why did you pick that? Tomorrow is my brother's birthday. So I'm here to get him something. He's my twin brother and whatever suits me will suit him perfectly. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You can't try it on. I'm sure after trying this outfit on, we'll have to dry clean it. And I don't want to go through that stress. So please, can you keep it back? You're just wasting your time. Maybe you should go somewhere else. You can't obviously afford anything here. Drop it and leave. What's going on? Can you imagine? This man here said he wants to buy an outfit. Why are you addressing him like that? Doesn't he have a name? Please, what's your name, sir? My name is Steve. Okay, Mr. Steve. Um, which one do you like? So I'll just take you to the dressing room so you can try it on. This, this one right here. Okay. Um, Susan, can I see you? Just give me a minute, sir. Susan, what is it? What is wrong with you? I mean, what are you trying to do? I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't understand? Don't tell me you're taking that man to the fitting room to try on the clothes. What is wrong with that man? And by the way, his name is Mr. Steve. So why do you keep addressing him that way? Susan, are you blind? Can't you see that guy is very dirty? I mean, look at him. I'm sure he can't even afford to pay for that clothes he picked. So why should he try it on? Why would you even say that? I mean, looking at him, he doesn't look bad. And you have to treat everyone the same. I see. This is the reason why you've not gotten any promotion. This is the reason. Treat everyone with respect. I get it that some people actually judge by appearance, but that's not me. In my sight, everyone is the same and you have to treat everyone with respect. Mm, I hear you. You can go, go ahead. That's your business. I really don't care. I'm so sorry about that. Mr. Steve, please, let me take you to the dressing room. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, good afternoon. You're welcome, sir. Please have your seat. No, it's fine. I'm okay like this. Sir, you didn't... Let me know you were coming to this branch today. Oh, yes, definitely. I was around the neighborhood, so I thought to say hi to you and see how business is going. Business is going very well, sir. And today we made a lot of sales. Oh, that's cool. I was actually thinking I will uh, bring the reports to you or email them. But since you're here, I think you'll be able to see them before. All right, that's fine. I'll do Oh, my goodness. What? Uh, sir. I know you must be very angry that this dirty looking man is holding this expensive outfit. I, I wanted him to leave, but Susan insisted on attending to him. But, but what exactly are you saying? This is Mr. Steve, my billionaire friend. But wait, Mabel, don't tell me you said all these awful things to him. Sir, I, I, I didn't know he, he's a billionaire. Must you know he's a billionaire for you to treat him in a very nice way? Are you telling me you don't know Steve John? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know who he is, and he doesn't even look like a billionaire. 
must he look like a billionaire for you to treat him nice? So, do you know Bill Gates? Yes, sir. Do you know Mark Zuckerberg? Yes, sir. So how are these people different from the way Mr. Steve is dressed? Sir, please. Sir, please, I'm very sorry, sir, please. Sometimes people don't like the headache of picking clothes every day. A whole lot of rich people just want to open their wardrobe and pick something simple and go on with their normal life. So why do you think people have to look sophisticated for you to treat them nice? You don't judge a book by its cover. Maybe I have always told you this. Times with that number. Sir, please. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Don't tell me you're sorry. I mean, you just embarrassed a very important guest in our store today. I am not going to let you do this to anyone else again. Okay? This will be the last time you ever do that. Get your things and leave the store now. Please, sir. Maybe don't let me call the security on you. You can take your leave now. Um, Susan. Yes, sir. From now, you are the head of sales in this store. Thank you, sir. Uh, please take um, the suit from Mr. Steve, pack it, and you know. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Mr. Steve, please, I'm so sorry for the embarrassment, okay? Please come and have your seat. It's fine. I get a lot of comments like this every day. But why do people think when you have money, you have to wear the value of your account on your body? Mr. Steve, please, come and have your seat, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. 